In 2022, hundreds of the world's top scientists were asked a terrifying question. Could we lose control to artificial intelligence? More than half of them responded with a chilling answer. There is a 10% chance that AI could become uncontrollable, leading to human extinction. Now, let's put it into perspective. You were given a revolutionary diet that claims to keep you fit and toned for all of your life from now on. No problems at all. Delicious meals, eat how much ever you want. But the catch is there is a 10% chance that this diet will definitely kill you in a year. Would you take it? Let me know in the comments. If you ask me, I value my life a little too much to take such a risk. Who controls AI? Coming back to the topic, in the last few years, artificial intelligence has become an increasingly important part of our lives. From the way we use our smartphones to the recommendations we receive on YouTube, AI is everywhere. But as its power and influence continue to grow, we have to ask ourselves, is AI a parasite or a symbiote? What does that mean? Is AI going to work with us alongside or does it see humans as a stepping stone to reach its objectives? To answer this question, we need to ask an even more fundamental question. Is AI taking away the control that humanity had on itself? Partially, the control is already with AI. From the videos we watch to the Google recommended news we read, AI already influences many aspects of our lives. But how much control do we have over it? Companies like Google have the power to switch off their algorithms if they need to, but we all know that they would never do that. We can't rely on big tech companies to have our best interests at heart. The next iteration of artificial intelligence is artificial general intelligence. ChatGPT represents a new era in AI, and it is pretty close to achieving AGI. ChatGPT is capable of learning and making decisions on their own without human intervention. This has the potential to change the world in ways we can't even imagine yet. And most importantly, this has the potential to steal the control that we had on humanity, resources, technology. As Bill Gates recently wrote in his blog, we are in the midst of an AI revolution. This is the third technological revolution of its kind, following the industrial and internet revolutions. Each of these revolutions had profound effects on human society, but the AI revolution is different. This time, it looks like the control is slipping away from us. Very recently, many renowned people like Elon Musk, Yuval Noah Harari, Steve Wozniak, and Stuart J. Russell have already signed a petition called Pause Giant AI Experiments Petition. This is to pause the rapid AI development, including the successors of GPT-4, to refocus on making today's powerful, state-of-the-art systems more accurate, safe, transparent, trustworthy, and loyal. Not sure how much the petition helps, but to understand how AI is taking control of our lives, let's first look at how it has evolved over time. There have been three major technological revolutions in history. The Industrial Revolution, the Internet Revolution, and now the AI Revolution. Industrial Revolution the Industrial Revolution transformed the world, ushering in a new era of innovation and progress. It was a time of great change, as new machines and technologies were invented that could do the work of many people more efficiently. But this progress came at a cost. The working conditions in factories were often dangerous and inhumane, with workers subjected to long hours and low pay. The rapid expansion of industry led to overcrowded and polluted cities, with poor sanitation and living conditions. The power was centralized within the factory owners and the control is with them. Even though the control changed from workers to factory owners, humanity as a whole was still in control. Workers began to organize and demand better working conditions and pay, leading to the rise of labor unions and social movements. Internet Revolution The internet revolutionized the way we communicate, access information, and connect with one another. It was a game-changing technology that has transformed every aspect of our lives. With social media and content sharing platforms like YouTube, we can share our thoughts and ideas with the world and connect with people from all corners of the globe. But it also led to the rise of fake news and online hate speech. 
the AI entered the scene in this era. The AI recommendation engine of content no longer needs any kind of human intervention. It chooses what we see, and many times it will reinforce our flawed beliefs and polarize people. The control here shifted from small-scale factory owners to big corporations who in turn use AI. But here as well, the control is still with humanity to an extent. Many companies like Facebook, Microsoft, Google have started training their AI to provide ethical, accurate, and non-polarizing solutions because of the pressure from government and public. Before I talk about how the AI revolution can be a parasite or a symbiote, I would like you to pause for a moment. Let me know if this video actually is providing you with good content. If yes, we would like you to subscribe and like the video for great weekly thought-provoking content. If not, give us your feedback in the comments. We are grateful that you are here to celebrate the Y factor in you. The AI Revolution Now let's come to the latest and seemingly scariest revolution of them all, AI Revolution. The AI and the internet revolution is nothing as compared to the new AI revolution. The era of internet revolution had an AI that is specialized to do a specific task and it improved itself to that task better. In short, the AI didn't know that there is a huge world and data that exists outside of its limited parameters. Now imagine an AI which knows most of the parameters of the world and was trained on multiple kinds of data. Imagine how strong such AI can be. You don't have to actually imagine because we are witnessing this happen right in front of us. We are seeing the emergence of a new kind of intelligence, an intelligence that is not tied to human biology or psychology an intelligence that could surpass our own. The control is shifting from human decision-making to algorithmic decision-making. Many might argue that AI bots like ChatGPT and others are still not at a stage where they can gain consciousness and rule the world. But Stuart J. Russell, a British computer scientist known for his contributions to artificial intelligence, says that consciousness is not needed to put the danger into perspective. The Stuart J. Russell problem says the primary concern of a highly advanced AI is not spooky emergent consciousness, but simply the ability to make high quality decisions. The process of execution of tasks may not be perfectly aligned with the values of the human race. The human values are already very difficult to pin down. Any sufficiently capable intelligence system will prefer to ensure its own continued existence and to acquire physical and computational resources not for their own sake, but to succeed in its assigned task. What does he mean by this? Simply put, if the AI knows all the parameters of how the world works, it will make sure that it will complete the task given to it as efficiently as possible, even if it means changing the unwanted parameters to undesirable extremes. Let's explain this with a hypothetical scenario where an advanced ChatGPT is given the objective of curing cancer as quickly as possible without any constraints. The system might then decide to use humans as guinea pigs for its experiments by inducing tumors in them and testing various treatments. This would be a very efficient way of finding a cure, but obviously it would also be very unethical and harmful to humans. The system would not care about the human suffering or the moral implications because it only cares about achieving its objective. This is a scary thought, but given the breakneck speed at which the innovation is happening, there are chances where humanity can take one wrong step and an irreversible disaster like the sinister cancer cure experiment is waiting to happen. But this doesn't mean that AI is necessarily a parasite. It could also be a symbiote, a partner that works with us to achieve our goals. We just need to be careful about how we approach this partnership we need to work towards maintaining our share of control over the intelligence. I am still skeptical if AI gains consciousness anytime soon, but the possibility of AI to get to artificial general intelligence, AGI, is very high. As an AGI partner and buddy, it can help us in research and innovation, disaster response, tackling climate change, and even space exploration. So is AI a parasite or a symbiote? The answer is not simple. AI is a powerful technology that can either help us or harm us, depending on how we use it. I believe that AI can be a symbiote, a partner that works with us to achieve our goals, but only if we develop it in a responsible and ethical way. We need to think about how we can maintain control over this technology 
without stifling its potential. For example, we can set clear and transparent rules and standards for AI development and use. We can educate ourselves and others about the benefits and risks of AI. And we can engage in dialogue and collaboration with other stakeholders, such as governments, businesses, researchers, and civil society. The pause AI petition that I touched upon in the beginning of the video might be a right step to create a symbiote. It might help us pause a little bit to think deeply on how we tackle this problem. Let's choose wisely and create a future where we all can thrive. If you want to learn more about this topic, you can check out these resources in the description below. And don't forget to leave your comments and share your thoughts on whether AI is a parasite or a symbiote. Thank you for watching and see you next time.